in the past two years i have talked to over 100 junior developers and i have gained some insights which i want to share in this video although i have too many points to mention i have merged them into five big problems that i see most of the time so let's jump straight into the video problem number one perpetuate cycle of learning and sometimes people call it tutorial hell it is a state of mind or state of learning where learning just never ends instead of choosing a path of wrapping up learning and then preparing and applying for a job a person just feels comfortable doing tutorial after tutorial and they move from one project to another and one course to another the lack of forward momentum leads them to stick to the place where they feel most comfortable which is in tutorial hell now let's talk about possible solutions think of getting a job like a video game in a video game you have levels and the only way to win the game is to move from one level to another level and finally win the last level if you're forever stuck at level one there's just no way you can ever win that game one of the possible solution to this problem is to come up with some kind of deadline give yourself a target that i'll study to this day and after that i will start applying for jobs another issue is the mindset that you have to cover basically everything before you apply for a junior position this is a total myth i'm not saying skills don't matter i'm saying most of the skills will be developed when you are doing the actual job you need a real world experience to become skillful and this should relieve some of you who thinks that you have basically need to done everything before you apply for a job how much you need to learn is a different topic which we will be covered in next videos if you don't know i have a newsletter where i send one coding challenge every week if you maybe have an interview coming or just want to sharpen your skills so please subscribe to my newsletter the link is in the description problem number two the state of confusion the point i want to mention is around the state of confusion junior developers have and how indecisive and helpless they can become the analysis paralysis of what to do next or whatever I'm doing is the right thing can put breaks to their coding journey. I mean, it's not their fault if you try to be honest. They listen to the friend and they give them some advice and then they go to YouTube and they get some different advice and they become clueless like most of the time and that seriously affect their goals of getting the first job. So what are the possible solutions to this problem? The solution I want to give is to listen to the opinions of others, but come up with your own conclusions. And you need to understand that every person's dynamic are different. What suits me may not suit you well, right? There's no one shoe that fits all. Yes, it's okay to listen to different opinions. I do this to this day, but I do want what I want to do. I make my own decisions. If things don't go the way they should be, I just accept my mistakes and try to improve that. Okay, so now let's move to problem number three. They don't act like a pro. To get your first job, sometimes the aspiring developers start, they fail to see the big picture. Sometimes they think all they need to do is DSA or they fixate it on one particular technology. They forget that there are a lot of things that matter along with their coding skills. Like how well are your communication skills? How well can you articulate or how can you be a team player? Are you punctual? Do you commit to your work? And let me tell you, say you have your coding skills, which is seven out of 10, and your communication skill is two out of 10. I have been in so many places where a person with five over 10 coding skills get the job because their communication skill was seven out of 10. They will most likely beat you with their way of talking and presenting themselves. Uh, and second thing I want to mention is about confidence. You need to have some level of self-confidence and faith in your abilities. It is one thing to be cocky about something, and another thing to be confident, but how would you gain that confidence? So now let's talk about some of the solutions. If you are serious about software development, you should live and feel like one. Act like a pro. You are the one who is going to shine in the interview. Give your brain a signal that it's not just a dream. If you put the work, you can achieve it. You have to put a bet on yourself. If not you, who will? Start working on your communication skills Practice with your friends or your siblings. Find people who can lift you, who can help you to become a better version of yourself. So start believing in yourself. So now let's talk about problem number four, not stubborn enough. Now continuing the previous points, getting a job, as I said, is a game. Those students sometimes feel they, they need hand holding to the point where they have a job. Like someone will tell them exactly what need to do and they can just do that. Things don't happen that way nowadays. As markets getting tight, those who are not stubborn enough will have hard time getting the first job. 
the solution to this problem is comparatively easy. Did you ever see someone finishing a game without having interest in finishing it? You need a kind of passion where you know that there will be obstacles but with enough repetition you will win. You need the same attitude here. Yes, you need to do the networking, cold emailing, applying hundreds of jobs and so many other things. But for you, you only need one opportunity. You are not looking for getting 10 jobs. You just need to get one. So fix your eye on the time. So now let's talk about our fifth problem is to avoid building things on their own. So many aspiring developers rely too much on tutorials as we already talked, uh, coding boot camps or structured learning paths, um, but they feel hesitant to build a real world project from scratch. So they often fear making mistakes or they believe they are not ready yet. However, the real world development is all about problem solving, debugging and figuring things out. As I previously talked in my other videos, where in the competitive job market, you can't just do a regular portfolio. You have to stand out and standing out isn't that difficult because good news is most junior devs are copying other junior devs and there is an actual opportunity for you who wants to do things differently. So now let's talk about some of the possible solution to fix this issue. I mean, you can either do open source contribution. How you pick that and how can you contribute is a different video in itself. I'm not going to cover in this video. The other possible solution, which I mostly talk about in this platform, is building micro SaaS products uh, for yourself or other people like who can use it over the internet. Uh, I have talked more about those uh, topics in those videos, so you can probably watch uh, whenever you feel like. And I think that's all from today's video. I want to wrap this up and I will see you next time with a different topic. So thanks a lot for watching.